snacks. What it do, snackers and snackers? It's your boy Gage. This is WHHW. What yeah. happened? Yeah. In the building. It's last week's news. That's over there somewhere. Uh, we about to get it popping. Hook me up. Number one. <sighs> they did it. Captain Marvel has an actual trailer, y'all. It's a trailer. It's a thing. What do y'all think? What do you think? What do you think? I'm looking forward to it. What do you think? You're looking forward to the movie? Not bad. I don't need Were you already looking forward to the movie? Yeah, just... Out of the now more? Uh, yeah, a little bit more. Like, I, so, so it, it didn't do honestly for me. It didn't do more than the teaser did. I'm gonna agree with that. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what I honestly feel like. I don't feel like this is one of Marvel's stronger trailers. Okay, so yeah. This is just like Marvel's been on a run with the trailers. Even though, like, the last couple trailers were fake anyway. Like, they had a bunch of stuff that didn't actually happen in the movies. I don't know. You know, whatever. But, still, like, they've been on a pretty serious run. And, this one, like you said, like, it, I don't feel like it necessarily did more than a teaser. It filled in some of the blanks. Um, and so I like that now, I have a better idea. We have a better idea of the direction they seem to be going with her origin story because it is different from what it has been in the past it's not exactly the same or at least it doesn't sound like it's the same as what's happening in, in the comic book um i think that what we did get to see of nick fury the 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 younger version of nick fury the like the the like the the nick fury that doesn't have all the experience that old Nick Fury has um you know two eyed Nick Fury I think that's important like you know he's supposed to be like a desk jockey in this like he's shield but he ain't Nick Fury yet you know what I'm saying like he's you know what I mean so I think that the, I think one of the things that's gonna be important about this movie is that I, I'm starting to get the feeling that this is going to be as much of a movie about Nick Fury becoming who we already know him as as it is about yeah yeah like I think this is gonna set some of those things in stone I don't think he's gonna lose his eye in this film I don't think that's gonna happen he has a scratch that's about it I don't think that's gonna happen um I'm not going to spoil it for you. All I'm going to say is, if you want to know about the cat thing, you should look up the cat. The name is wrong. Like, in the in the trailer, the name is Goose. In the comic books, the cat's name is Chewy because he's literally named after Chewbacca. But that's a thing. I think they just decided to do the Top Gun thing. She's a fighter pilot. You know, whatever. Either way, I'm excited. Yeah, you like the Goose. Yeah. Um... I'm excited about Captain Marvel. I, I am super excited for power pe people to see how powerful she actually is. I agree. Um, and right now, I'm wondering how they're going to do that in this film. I'm a little concerned about that. The other thing that's important to me is they are heavily planting the seed for the Scrolls, which we knew were going to be the bad guys in this. But my personal opinion is they are going to be so important going into the next phase of the MCU. Um, and that concerns me looking forward to what's going to happen in Avengers 4. Some people are not going to make it. Period. Hey, hook me up. Number two. Red Dead Online Beta. Um... <laughs> Sin. <laughs> Ooh, this red dead. Sin. All right, listen. I will say this. Say it. You, say it. You know it's fire when I keep getting kicked out and I spend all the time trying to get back. And you just keep coming back. Yeah. Listen, I don't know what's going on with you. Yeah. I haven't experienced the kick out of the way like I, I may have had one or two. It's a beta, right? So the beta dropped, and initially the first day of the beta was only people who had the ultimate edition of the game. Um, and then they sporadically opened it up to other people. Uh, if you do have the ultimate version, there are some things that you own in game that you might not be aware of. So make sure you check out like your catalog, stop in the shops, look for the things that are zero dollars, varmint rifle, things like that that will help you get started. 
go to the stable and get your racehorse. And your saddle. Get your racehorse and your saddle. It matters. Um, so just make sure, because they don't really do a good job of telling you or making you aware that you have access to these things that you have access to. Um, so it took us like a couple days to kind of realize that we had all the stuff that we had. Um, the online beta as a whole right now is pretty much what I expected. I mean, it's open. There's a lot of griefing. Like, people... <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with people. What's wrong with people, man? Everything. I'm just trying to read my map. What you gotta shoot me for? And you know I gotta shoot you back. Like it's just That's why you roll with a posse. Thing. And that is why you roll <laughs> with a posse. Exactly. And boy, we roll with a posse. Like once we got a squad together. Shout out to Sticks real quick, because sort of. Cause Sticks, you be starting stuff. <laughs> You be finishing stuff too, though, but it's, but yeah, like, people do stuff to you, like, they just, like, we're literally in a town, kind of minding our business, we don't really pick with anybody, and like, these dudes just kept running up, tackling people, hog tying them, and then picking them up, and slitting their throats, it's just like, and when I saw it happen, and I was like, well, you're not getting me, you're getting this shoddy, though, and when he tried to charge me, he ate that shotgun, <laughs> ate it, hey, ate it all. Um, there's something that has to say with when you're riding with your posse and you see somebody coming up the way, everybody had their guns out. Well, they it's every, with the things like, we good? Yeah. It's, it's just, it's always a tense situation right now. But here's the thing. There's something pseudo-realistic about that in this game compared to like Grand Theft. Like in Grand Theft, you kind of know people are going to do stuff like that anyway. You're always wary of like other people that are walking around, but like something about the pacing of this game, like on horseback, kind of riding with your people, going to a destination, somebody comes by and you just kind of like, you keep, you keep the rifle out on you while you ride, you keep the shotgun, the pistol or whatever on you, and it's like, there's kind of this slow like, alright, so do we respect each other, just kind of ride past each other, kind of glaring you spin the camera around and look behind you to make sure like the they don't try yeah like it's just it's one of those things that just that that kind of tense it feels old west you know what i mean like it feels wild west you know it just it's pretty cool voice acting is dope um the story that's in it is actually pretty pretty good um there are some troubles with getting in and out of you know, posses and stuff like that. People getting kicked, um, freezing sometimes. Uh, but as a whole, again, it's beta. So right now, the biggest concern I'd say is whether or not they are going to wipe progress, <laughs> which they say they're trying not to have to do, but it's a possibility that they may end up having to wipe progress. Um, so we'll see what happens. The economy is a little off, but they're supposed to be tweaking that. Um, we'll see what happens because. Stuff that's in the regular game is like way more expensive in the online side by comparison. So that's a little off and a little off-putting. Um, and you can see that there's going to be a store, but that's not open yet. So again, they're still tweaking some things. Overall, I'm having a great time though. Lassoing things. Lassoing people. It's a thing. It's a thing. Um, if you have, If you have the game... I recommend that you jump on the online and just try it out. Try to get yourself a squad. Once you get enough money, you can actually form posses that are larger. You can make a permanent posse, uh, which I just did. So, holla at me if you're trying to get into Logan Snacks posse. Cause you can get down with it. Get down. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I just... We can get through with this so I can play some more. That's where I'm at right now. Jokes number three. Yeah, I appreciate you with the backup there, Sin. I appreciate that. Uh, so check this out. Not too long ago, we dropped a video talking about whether or not we felt like Epic Games uh, was guilty of cultural appropriation for taking dances and things like that. So rapper 2 Millie has officially sued Epic Games um, for use of his dance, uh, the Millie Rock, in the game, which in the game they call it the Swipe It, instead, <laughs> instead of the Millie Rock, 
whatever. Um, so it's interesting to see, and I'm really interested to see how it's going to play out because. If he wins this case, there are other people who also have more or less had their dances put into the game. And it makes me wonder whether or not we are going to see um, others follow suit. Um, and, and this is not the first time that Epic has had something like this. Like, they've been sued over... I can't think of the guy's name, but I remember they got sued. Or they, they might even still... They might still It might even still be going on, but they got sued. The guy who was... Uh, Coltrane. Ah. The the person who he believes is his likeness. Coltrane, he got yeah, he was so he sued him for that. So you know, I it could be a landmark thing. Um and it could be a big deal, not just for games and in gaming, but for things on the side of hip hop, um, and for uh, you know getting that kind of recognition, and where we are with things like appropriation, like taking things that you didn't create and using them to make money um, without giving credit where credit is due. So I think it's gonna be really interesting. I'm certainly gonna have my eye on it. I have a feeling it's gonna be one of those things that gets dragged out for quite some time, but we'll 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 see what happens. Um, what do you think, Coop? You think? I mean, you think? Two million is is on the right side of things to sue. Like do you think? Of course, I, you I do. Definitely think so. I mean, yeah. If you, I mean, I, obviously the people who play the games, little, little kids, younger kids, children, don't know about it. You know, but we do, and it's a thing. So it's definitely a thing. Yeah. <laughs> it was a big enough thing for them to take it and put it in the game. Yeah. So. And I, he, and he definitely I, deserves a, 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 at least a percentage of every time someone dies on the game. Yeah, something. And I appreciate that some of the artists did step up and say something. You know. I do too. Bigger, bigger name artists, you know, to try to try to help out with the situation. Yeah, I, I do too, and I, I I think it's I think it's I think it's an important step. I technically I feel like whether I feel like whether he wins or not, um, it will send a message that you can't just do this. Like I feel like companies will be statement. either make the decision, yeah, it'll be a statement. Like be, they will either be more worried about doing something like that, or they'll at least reach out and make the attempt. You know what I mean? To, to, to try to do what I think is the right thing. So, um, definitely want to hear what you guys' feedback is. You know, let us know in the comments how you feel about it. Do you think he'll win? Let me know how you felt about the Captain Marvel trailer. Are you excited about it? I actually had <laughs> one person drop in my comments on Facebook. That was Mary. Mary's always, she's always in my comments. I appreciate you, Mary. Um, and she was like, doesn't this Captain Marvel thing remind y'all of the the Green Lantern trailer, <laughs> like, yeah, a little bit, yeah, a little bit, a little bit, except good, you know what I mean, but I'm just saying, it, it might look a little, we'll see what happens, we'll see what happens, uh, having said that, here's what I need, I need you to hit the ding a bell, like, share, subscribe, okay, make sure you're following the crew, and uh, we appreciate all y'all who came out to check us out while we was at Ocean City Comic Con. Thank you so much. With that, I'm going to slide to his loop.